Okay, here we are going to show you how I put together my truck camper. I'm currently installing the styrofoam insulation that has been cut to fit on my truck. And you can see the floor panels that are sort of stacked up that will be installed in a moment. So everything in my camper has to come in and out. Uh, thus, there's no permanent installation. Um, these styrofoam panels were purchased from a big box store and they're just cut to fit, pressed in. Uh, what I'm putting in now are curtains. They are hung on quarter inch dowels head, um, held up with one quarter inch cable clamps that have been uh, put onto the windows. And uh, they just hold in there and give a little bit of privacy and a little bit of color. You can sort of see that the ceiling is still installed. There is the same styrofoam and a fleece cloth over it just to give a little insulation and make it look pretty. Okay, we got the windows finished. I'm installing the... So here I'm installing the floor panels. These are outdoor tiles. You can pick them up and various places. I think I found them at Costco and they are great. They've got uh, drainage. This allows me to have a relatively clean floor even though I camp in very wet areas. And, uh, I have dogs and I'm not that very not very good at cleaning up my feet or taking my shoes off before I climb into my camper. So. This lets me kind of keep things a little bit cleaner. Okay, now we're going to get the actual build. Oh, nope. So here is how I keep the interior quote unquote dry. This is a house wrap, it's a six milliliter plastic that's meant to go on houses for uh, keeping windows insulated or whatever. Um, so if you've had a truck camper, you know that these are not uh, waterproof. Um, and uh, the only way to really make sure that you're not going to have any drips is to either never go taking it in a wet situation or this was my solution, um, letting the water happen and channeling it away from the living space. So the plastic is installed and, and I put um, just a purple fabric over it just to kind of make it pretty. Um, it, the plastic and the fabric are held up with sticky back Velcro and magnets that I've glued to the fiberglass of the cap. There, I just put a little rug on. Here we go, here's the build. So that's the bed that is getting put in. And this is the, the table, kitchen, cook space. Um, these were built before I had the floor tiles, so You'll notice that um, the back has to get sort of set up. Now here, I realized that the insulation was a little bit too big, so I had to take it out, recut it, and now this uh, center piece will fit. See, there, thumbs up. Yes. Um, the center pieces are what keep everything from shifting and allow the bed to go from a twin size bed or couch mode into full-size bed mode. So each of those three panels gets installed on the rim of the couch and table. Just reinstalling the, the plastic and the fabric after having to hold it down to trim the insulation. 
And that is the extent of how I put my camper together. Now comes all the fun stuff. There is the mattress. So it's laid out flat for bed mode, and then one end gets folded up for when it's in couch mode. So there's bed mode, and couch mode. The pant, those center panels are placed on the floor, and those also keep the bed and couch from shifting. So tossing in pillows and sleeping bag. Instead of using sheets and blankets, I use a sleeping bag uh, open, kind of like a, a quilt style. Uh, let's see, the larger box with the blue top, that's all my cooking sort of kitchen gear. The pillow's up, making a couch, so the kitchen goes up on that little table. That smaller box has all my little puck lights that are held magnetically to the top, so there, I'm chilling on the couch. And then I'll show you some of the different ways that this build allows me to be inside my cab. So just by moving the three different panels, which are different sizes. So here is desk mode, which doesn't actually happen that much. But then this mode does. This is chill out mode. 